How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this episode we're gonna repeat the dog from the book How to Weld Scrap Metal Art by Barbie the Welder. I've decided to try myself at welding art and I was cruising online and I found this book with 30 easy welding projects and today I want to try to do this dog. There is a step-by-step -step tutorial for each sculpture. If you guys are interested, I leave you the link down below if you want to get a book like that. Okay, so for this project we're gonna need three large nuts, one big bolt for the nose, we're gonna cut off this portion, four smaller bolts for legs, one bolt for neck, one bolt for tail, you can either go with two nuts for eyes or I want to try to modify it a little bit and go with two large locking washers and two little cylinders from bearing. One large washer for the collar and one nut we're gonna cut it in half and use it as ears. We're gonna start with welding these three big nuts together for our main body. Right on, got it on all sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and weld all four legs. That's one. And that's two. That's three, and one more. Let's witness for the first time if our dog can stand. Oh no, malfunction. I spoke too soon. Ha! <laughs> Not bad, you guys. Now I'm gonna flip it upside down and weld it a little more for durability. Okay, the main body is done. We're gonna set it aside and let's do the head. And I wanna make fancy eyes using those two locking washers, just like that. Let's get a couple tucks from other side too. All right, guys. It's time to weld the ears, which is half of the nut. That's one, and the other one right there. I didn't plan to make those ears offset like that, but I kind of like it. Like one ear is standing, one is halfway down. <laughs> but it's coming together really nice. I mean, look at that, guys. I'm so excited. It does look like a dog. <laughs> right on. Now we weld neck. Neck is gonna go like that. Man, that's a really long neck. It's almost like a giraffe. All right, so that bolt was a little too long. I cut it and I also made an angle right here for better connection to head. Try to use this magnet. Yes, sir. And then head. I think that's beautiful. Okay, let's tuck weld that. We don't wanna forget our collar. So, collar goes first. Boom. And now head. Man, I seriously don't know how I would do this project without those tiny little magnets. If you guys are interested, I'll leave you a link in the description where to get them. Look, it's holding the head. I just need to tuck weld it. <laughs> Doggo. Woof, woof. Place one more underneath there. 
and one last touch the tail right on cute little tail there you guys have it please welcome Rex Rex say hi woof 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 subscribe like this video subscribe or I gonna bite you woof easy Rex don't be rude but you should subscribe guys because I, I don't know if I can hold this beast on the leash <laughs> The only thing, it's a little tippy. So I have idea to put my little Rex on a pedestal. On this fancy bearing. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. To make it even more fancy though, I have a piece of this mesh and we'll see if we can weld it to bearing first. Not exactly perfect, but it will do. Let's give it a couple tucks. And it can still spin. Little details make it look real nice. Okay, Doggo, you ready? I think he's ready. There you guys have it, my first pet. I love it. What do you guys think? Not too shabby for first time welding scrap metal art, not without the help of Barbie the Welder book. All right, guys, we're gonna end this video now. Me and Rex sure hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notifications so you know when I upload. Also, go ahead and check out my new merch. Grinders and paint make us the welders we ain't. Go get yourself an awesome hoodie. And I will see you in next one. Bye now.